everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. It's the video where I talk to you about everything exciting that happened in 2019 and tell you about all the things, the good things to come in 2020. So, um, boy, so much happened during 2019. First of all, we consolidated the store, um, Le Vintage Decor in Juniata, and brought it here to Love It Le Vintage uh, at 1410 11th Avenue. So the Vintage Decor lives at 1410 11th Avenue, in case you haven't visited. So um, there was that. And then in February, I got to go to Florida for the Dixie Bell Conference. And that was exciting, and I really learned a lot more about my um, my life as a paintpreneur and uh, it deepened my skills. So it was really exciting time, and I got to reconnect with family, which was the best part. So um, another thing that exciting exciting thing that happened in February was we did uh, we participated in Not Your Average Bridal Show, and that was really exciting because it brought a lot of uh, brides to my rental business, and um, that's I'm looking for that to happen again this year, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. I'm trying to still stay with my reflections here. Uh, one of the exciting in-home design projects that I got to work on this year was um, a home. So the homeowner had me over to look at the kitchen and it unfolded into the entire first floor of her house. So that was an exciting big job to work on. And simultaneously, I also worked on a project with Champion Life Church. And that was really exciting. We um, transformed the church uh, into a coffee house. So it's still a place of worship and it's a wonderful place to gather and people can enjoy the fellowship and a good good cup of coffee. I, I'm assuming it's good because I'm not a coffee drinker, but I enjoy my cup of tea for sure. And I really enjoy being able to take it up um, when the service begins so I can still continue to enjoy my coffee because it's a great place to worship. It's just so relaxed. You can be as involved as you want to be or um, or not. So it's a great place and I look forward to um, working more with the pastors there this year. Um, photo shoots. We did a lot of photo shoots. We did a couple photo shoots. What do you think? Three. But uh, so much fun. Um, and the collaborative advertising that we do with those is, is amazing. Um, we launched a product line, which was Fascinators, um, the, the hats, we, we're bringing them back, and also um, Divine Dreams Makeup. Michelle Bachman uh, has Shell Stream and sh Shell Streams, and she launched a line of makeup, all natural and locally made, and it's exclusive to the Vintage Day Course. So that's really thrilling for me, and uh, I know for Michelle it's very exciting because she's been wanting to do it for a long time. So um, we did a, a photo shoot and a fashion show in one with that. Um, so that was exciting. And also Rustic Bridal and Event Rentals uh, sponsored a zombie wedding this year. So that was really cool. Um, just so much fun we had this year. So Love It, who shares space with the Vintage Decor, provided the, the wedding gown and we altered it to zombify the couple. So um, on my YouTube channel, there's videos on all this exciting stuff. So you'll have to check it out if you missed anything. Another thing that um, became a common practice this year was a series of classes. Uh, we do be beginners chalk painting classes, which we cover. Uh, they cost $45, and you bring a piece of furniture. We actually clear out the front of the store and work on your furniture piece. And um, that is a fun class, and we cover chalk painting, ceiling, and uh, just dressing in that class. And then we uh, also developed an advanced techniques class. That one's a fun one. So it's $65 and you don't have to bring anything because you'll take home a project. So we cover paint blending, um, molds and transfers, and stenciling, and um, just all kinds of other techniques that whatever we feel like doing, it's, it's really fun. 
So um, definitely learning, uh, learning techniques. The paint blending, the color blending is the biggest of, of the techniques to learn. So what's going on in 2020? What's coming up? I'm looking in 2020 to grow my business in ways that I never have before. So um, that means collaborations with people that I never worked with before in different ways. And also um, looking to possibly begin some coaching for people who want to uh, begin a painting business themselves. So, um, so that's kind of something uh, on the burner. And um, as I mentioned before that um, I'm looking to do some projects and collaborations with people. So uh, an outreach project potentially, um, hopefully with Champion Life Church. I love working with um, pastors James and Devin there. And um, just some other uh, collaborations with different people that um, we can benefit each other's businesses in different ways. Look to go to um, the Dixie Bell Conference. I bought my ticket again, um, so I have to make. I have to get busy and make the travel arrangements, but um, excited to do that. Um, really looking to grow my YouTube channel. That's really been a fun project, and I really feel like it's ready to take off. My videos get better all the time, and I learn more all the time. So I'm waiting for that one exciting video that's going to just go viral and um, and really grow my channel to the point where I can actually monetize it. So um, that takes a thousand followers. So then I'll be able to do live videos and so much more. So um, I appreciate your support and subscribing to the channel if you have, and I would love you to subscribe if you haven't. So, um, so many of the things we did, I love to repeat. We're planning currently um, another fashion, uh, another photo shoot. We're doing a Valentine wedding photo shoot. And speaking of Rustic Ride on Event Rentals, which is what we do, uh, this this all for uh, the the photo shoots are all about collaborative advertising, and my part in it is to advertise the the bridal rental business. Um, so I can, I provide the props, and then we get other professionals like um, Peterman's Flower Shop. They provide uh, the bouquets and. Chronics often provides the rings and we'll work with different photographers. I've worked with um, Sly Photography and Miranda Joy. Um, worked with um, Sheer Power um, and just so many. We um, Ashley McAleer Nails and uh, Michelle Bachman with Divine Dreams. So we just have so much fun doing these photo shoots. And the um, the February one, I don't think will disappoint and look for new additions to the, the rustic bride on event rentals this year we're getting funky this year we're gonna uh, provide brides with some some options brides and grooms um, with some options that they haven't seen before and you won't likely see at other weddings so definitely a little bit off of the pinterest pages and, and a new direction They'll be on the pages eventually because once people see them, they'll definitely want to copy these ideas. So um, I think wrapping it up, I think that's it. I, I would imagine we'll do the zombie wedding again and continue with the classes. And through the winter months, I also have some other really cool ideas um, for things that are, are going to be just inexpensive, nice ways to spend a winter evening. So... Um, we can enjoy a glass of wine and just do a fun project that doesn't cost very much and um, you'll enjoy displaying it in your home and just enjoy doing it. So lots of um, multimedia type uh, projects, mixed media. Um, so there's that. Um, let's see, have I forgotten anything? Oh, lots of cool things that are going to be coming up in the retail store as well. Um, lots of new products and new lines and just all kinds of surprises throughout the year. So I'm really looking forward to working with you and for you this year and um, I wish you a lot of blessings this year and um, continue to uh, enjoy the blessings that I've had and uh, 
hopefully work to make people's lives a little bit better just by doing what we do. Thank you so much for watching and Happy New Year!